Hi, I'm Professor Derek Moot from the Lincoln University Dryland Pastures team and we're at Ashley Dean, our dryland research farm in the middle of July, so it's the 24th of July and uh, we're going to talk about winter management of lucerne. One of the key things about grazing lucerne is that when it comes to the autumn and winter you need to get off it and let the plant have a time to rest. So right now we're looking at a very brown looking stand that has been sprayed about three weeks ago. This uh, lucerne stand didn't really have a lot of weeds in it but we've sprayed it as a preventative option. It will be grazed in the coming spring as part of an experimental program. What we've sprayed it with is Paraquat or Gramoxone and Atrazine at the commercially recommended rates. And if we just look down at the stand, you can see it's looking reasonably brown, but there's not a lot of weed content uh, left in it. A few of the perennial grasses are still in here. There's a little bit of perennial ryegrass sitting in here, um, but we've killed plants like um, Storksbill and Shepherd's Purse and we've got those and we've killed all the leaf off those with the paraquat or the gramoxone. It's actually burnt those and the brown leaf herbage is what you've got from spraying that very contact related um, herbicide. If I look at the plants, they're not necessarily all dead although they are dying. This plant here, the stalk spill, you can see that when we sprayed the application of herbicide about three weeks ago, it's burnt off these leaves that were exposed to the application but the new leaf, the green leaf that's coming through here, it's actually survived and this could cause us some problems in the spring. So we may be looking to do an, a, a, another herbicide application in spring if the stalks bill begins to dominate too much. The, the thing about paraquat or gramoxone is it is just a contact killer. So it's very good at getting things like power annua and barley grass, things that are spring annuals, or sorry, winter annuals that will die if we spray them once and that's what it does. The atrazine, which is the other chemical I mentioned, it's got a residual activity. So what the atrazine does is it actually stays in the soil and it gets into the roots of the plant and it starts to kill the plants as they germinate. So we may have some weed seedlings in here that as the spring comes along, they'll start to germinate. The atrazine will be absorbed by those little roots as they start to grow and it will actually kill those plants in that spring. So we've got the knockdown effect of the paraquat, which just gives us the the, the visual sign that we've got weed control happening, but it's the atrazine that's giving us the, res, the, the residual control as we go through into the spring period. It's really important right now, when we're short of feed in a lot of the areas, that we don't look at this lucerne and consider it's an opportunity to come in in a couple of weeks time and give it a green pick. What we've got here is the new lucerne shoot. And if you look at this particular shoot, you can see I've got this one, this, this little leaf has been burnt off by that paraquat and this one's been burnt off by the paraquat that we sprayed and this one was probably emerged and it's been burnt off and we might have a wee bit of frost damage on here but what we've got is one two three four nodes that are starting to that are growing and a fifth one starting to come through here and this little tight compact shoot is our spring productivity it will elongate very slowly and get itself up to about here over the next couple of weeks it's responding to the air temperature. Whenever the air temperature is above five degrees, a new leaf is being formed by the plant. And they're concertinaed and pack packaged up here in this little chute. And they give us that great expansion in the spring, which gives us our early spring growth. If I come in here when the lucerne's, you know, about four inches high, 10 centimeters high, and I just take the green top off, what I do is remove that growing point and therefore the plant has to start all over again. It can't produce any more shoots. So that's the worst thing I can do to a lucerne stand over the next two or three weeks. I want this stand to be able to be grazed at the beginning of September. And so right here in July, I'm setting it up for coming back in um, September and we'll show you what it looks like as we start our spring grazing in the first or second week of September.